And this video is all about something called writer's voice. Now, writer's voice is really important to what we're doing in creative writing this year. So you have to pay attention in order to understand what it is. Now, I created a Prezi to delve deep into this topic, so let's get started. We're going to start our discussion of writer's voice through answering one simple question. And that simple question is, how do people express to the world that they are unique? For instance, how do you express to the world that you are an individual, someone who is their own person? Well, some of the ways you might do this are through changing your hairstyle, changing your clothing choices, creating or listening to very specific music, the way you talk, tattoos that you get, art that you create, or movies or TV shows that you're interested in. All these things are choices. Now take a look at the picture of the girl over here. She's made choices to express her voice to the world. She changed her hairstyle. She changed her piercings, her clothing, to express to the world who she is. Now what is she communicating through those choices? Well, she's saying to the world that she's unique and that she's a little dark as well. You can do the same thing through writing. That's what our class is going to be all about. First, let's take a look at what voice is through a definition. Voice is the expression of personality through communication. Communication can be a lot of different things. I listed here art, music, writing, fashion, design, etc. You do this every day when you choose to wear something specific. It's all about choice. So, when someone makes a choice through how they create their music or their art or fashion, and you look at that, or you listen to it, you should be able to answer these questions. What is this person saying about themselves, or about the world? How do you know? And how do they do it? Quick example of fashion. Let's take a look at this picture over here. This is a rapper named Riff Raff. He's made a lot of choices to represent himself in a certain way. He wears these neon glasses, these cornrows, this pretty intense facial hair. He's got an MTV tattoo and neon clothing. He's trying to tell the world that he is a colorful and perhaps goofy character. And if you listen to his music, then that holds true. Let's take a look at how some other artists use their voice and the choices that they make to show the world who they are. Now this is a painting by a guy named Vincent Van Gogh. and You probably have heard of him because of the whole cutting off his ear to send it to a lady he liked story. That might give you a little background about this. Now, this is a self-portrait that he made. And he's telling the world something about himself based on the choices he made in this self-portrait. Take a look at this self-portrait and you should be able to answer these questions. What's the person saying about themselves? What is Van Gogh doing so that you know he's saying this? You should also be able to answer or finish these sentences. I am and I feel as if you were Van Gogh in this painting. All right, so let's take a look. Notice the expression on his face. That's one choice he made. He's not smiling. He has dark circles under his eyes. He has this cold, steely gaze. He's showing you through his voice that he is serious and maybe a little dark, maybe sad even. Take a look at the colors in the background. Dark green and black, almost like dark thoughts swirling behind his head. He's wearing this black trench coat. These are all choices he made to show that he is kind of a deep, dark person. Think, for instance, if you were making a self-portrait of yourself. Would you use these deep, dark colors? Or would you use something else to express who you are? Say you're a loud, colorful person. Would you use loud colors? Would you be smiling instead of stoic, like Van Gogh is? Would you be dressed in a black trench coat, or would you have something else on? All these choices would say something different about you. Now Van Gogh uses colors, painting techniques, to show who he is through his art. The same thing can be applied to music. We're going to do the same thing with a little bit of a song by a band named Radiohead. And we're going to try to determine what their voice is. 
Once again, we should be able to answer these questions. What does the person say? How do you know it? How do they do it? And if you're Radiohead, how could you answer these sentences, I am and I feel? This is a song called Life in the Glass House. We're going to listen to about maybe 20 seconds of it, and we're going to try to figure out exactly what they're trying to communicate. You guys get the idea there. But with Radiohead, the idea is that uh, they are communicating a very specific voice through their music. They sound like they're sad. So that's how I would finish these two sentences. Now, how do you know that? Well, it's a very slow tempo. He sings in this almost crying whale voice that you might describe as emo, maybe. He uses these piano notes that are in minor chords, these horns that almost sound like they're crying. It's a sad song. Even as a little sad crying guy down here on the label. The idea is that's their voice. That's how they communicate it. Now in this class, we're going to be communicating who we are as individuals through writing. That's our art. It's not painting. It's not music. It's writing. Now the way I'm going to teach you to do this is through a set of six skills. That if you figure out how to fine tune these skills, you're going to be able to represent yourself in the way that you want to. The list of skills are as follows. Diction, detail, figurative language, imagery, syntax, and tone. Now if you don't know these things yet, you will by the end of the course. They're skills that will help you represent how the world sees you through your writing. Now the reason why I have these pictures over here is because these are pictures of my favorite author, a guy named Ernest Hemingway. He was a master of using his writer's voice to show what type of guy he was. Take a look at these pictures. He's holding guns, he's boxing, he has a tremendous beard, he was in the military. Ernest Hemingway was a man's man type of dude, and his writing represents that. He uses stereotypically man's man's words, sentence structure, and so on to show you what type of guy he is through his writing. He's got these short sentences, he doesn't reveal emotion, he uses short to the point details, kind of like a guy who would be shirtless holding a shotgun would in his writing. Now that's all we're going to talk about for writer's voice right now. We're going to continue this subject as we go through the course, we're going to move through these units, and you guys by the end of things are going to have a fine-tuned writer's voice to show the world who you are.